In this tutorial, we'll show you how to manage your Animation Now timeline. We'll be using a StoryMaker workstation and the Animation Now applications. At this moment, you should be in Animation Now with your sequence library loaded, a vocal performance completed and exported as a wave, and a stage from your Animation Now library loaded. We will walk you through importing your vocal tracks in the timeline, adding animations to match your vocal tracks and the storyboard, and playing back those animations so you can fine-tune your sequence. The first step in the process is to import your vocal tracks into the timeline and sync them with each other, as well as the zero second mark. To import a track, right-click in the character's timeline and select Speech, then Wave File. Navigate to your sequence resource library and locate your vocal performance. Wait for the system to import your voice, and when the complete message appears, close the import window to view your track. Repeat those steps for however many characters you have in your sequence. Now that you have your vocal tracks imported into the timeline, you can use the play button or the spacebar to play the tracks in your timeline. If you notice that your tracks are out of sync, you can use the control and scroll method to zoom into your timeline tracks and drag the vocal performances until they both start at zero seconds in the Animation Now timeline. Control and scroll back out to view your project in its entirety and play the tracks again to make sure everything lines up. If you cannot hear your characters, or if they're not speaking, please review the Animation Now setup tutorial for more details on configuring your Animation Now director for animation. Now that your characters are speaking, you can proceed to add animations to your timeline. Select animations based on the storyboard and time the animations to your vocal performance. Remember, you can always interrupt an animation with another animation, and the software will automatically transition from one move to the next. If you need to stop an animation, just add a stop clip wherever you see fit. To add a stop, right-click on the character's timeline and select Stop, then Clip. Move the start and end markers as you work to avoid listening to the same lines on loop. Feel free to control and scroll, and scroll left and right as you're working to get more or less detailed. Listen to your whole sequence at least three times before you export to be sure you're happy with your performance. When you're happy with the placement of the assets in your timeline, you'll need to save your stage before you can continue to the next stage in your sequence. Navigate to the Animation Now Director application and locate the Library and Stage tabs on the left-hand side of your screen. Click on the blue Stage Name on the Stage tab to view the stage properties. Rename the stage, adding Completed to the end of the stage name, and click Save to New to save a copy of the completed stage alongside the template. Review the stages in your Library tab, and complete all of the stages before you deliver your Wondergrove Wizard of Oz Sequence Resource Library.